Teleproof. In this video, I'm going to take you through how you can do intraday teleproof and an end of day teleproof. So if you are a cash business, you are probably dealing with lots of currencies and you'll want to count these denominations to keep a log of all of them. So for this example, we're going to go in as a user, so as one of your tellers, um, and we're going to do an intraday teleproof to start with. We need to go to the teleproof icon or module right here and you'll see that we don't have any existing right now. So what we need to do is go up to the new cash teleproof button. Once clicking here we can start by um, counting a certain currency. So let's begin with our Canadian currency. So we just type in CAD and tab. You'll see that the denominations that we accept will populate down below. And then we have uh, two columns. We have count one and count two. So what we can um, input into these columns is basically what we have in our till for count one and, and say we have already some pre-bundled amounts already counted and put away into our another drawer, another locked away drawer. We can do two counts. So let's start entering these in. Um, for example, let's say that we have five and then we also have five in our drawer. I'm just hitting tab going down into each cell right here. And then we have four fifties and two twenties and then just one ten. So you'll see that we've got our two counts. It's giving us our total counts and then it's also giving us that in the dollar amount. So in Canadian dollars. So below we've got totaling 1,250. Now because this is an intraday teleproof, we want to make sure we do not select this right here. If we do select end of day, we will actually not be able to then go in and do any more intraday teleproofs within this currency. So we want to make sure that that's the um, teleproof that you want to be actually doing an end of day or an inter intraday. Now once we have done that, we know that that's what we've counted, we can click save. The system will give you um, a slight warning just saying, this is going to be saved as an intraday, not end of day. But that's okay because that's what we want. So we're going to ignore and continue. And then you'll see that on this screen, it's not coming through because only end of day teleproofs will be shown here unless we check this box up here, show intraday teleproof. So let's click on that. And you'll see that the one that we just did, we entered in manual balance of 1250 and our system balance matches at 1250. So Let's just do another one. So up on the right here, we click on New Cash Teleproof. And let's put in Australian dollars. You'll see the denominations we accept. And now we can put in our count. So let's just see that we have four and four and two fifties. So totaling 900. And we can click on Save. Again, this is intraday, so we say ignore and continue. And you can see that we've now got a manual balance of 900 Australian dollars, but a system balance of 860. So what's that telling us? It's telling us that we have had 860 US, uh, sorry, Australian dollars of transactions in this till. But what Ryan or this teller is counting is that we have 900. So there's actually a discrepancy of 40 US, uh, sorry, Australian dollars. Now, all the overages are calculated in your home currency. So it's now showing us that that, in fact, is $36.51 in US, because US is our home currency, our local currency. All right, so let's do one more. We'll do a US. And we'll put in our count right here tabbing down and showing a total of 1740 and we can click on save ignore and continue and it's showing that we have a manual balance of 1740 but our system balance is actually only 1450 so again we have another discrepancy and this time it is in our local currency anyway so it's 290 dollars so what is that telling us? That's telling us that there's various different reasons how this can occur. It could be a teller error. It could be um, taking too much money from a customer, not giving them enough change, um, entering in transactions twice. It could be various different reasons, and that's up for you to, just, to uh, investigate. But for now, 
This is just what we're going to enter in as our end of, um, as our tether proof. If we want to now make these end of day, um, we can go back into them. So we can go up to new cash tether proof again. Let's type in US dollars and it will bring through what we already did for our intraday. So here we can make some changes. We can actually now count at the end of the day and we realize, oh, actually, we actually only had four in the in the, in our draw. So that's changing the amount. So now it's actually 1490. It is the end of day, so let's check end of day and then save. So now it's showing that we're actually only in discrepancy of 40 US dollars, which isn't as bad as, as the 290 that was from before. So in another video, I will show you how to um, balance out your accounts going through shortage and overage. But for now, this is just showing you how you would do your end of day teleproof or an intraday teleproof, just logging into the system what physically you have in this cash draw. Now this is all that's happened on today's date. If you wanted to have a look and just do some comparisons of to what was happening yesterday or the day before, you can use these arrows right up here. I didn't actually have any end of day teleproof for the 13th, but you can go back through um, and just have a look at those dates as well, bringing you back to today's date.